after I asked him to buy his at. So every time I get a chance to talk uh, about my Felix about that, I can and will take. But that being said, we are going to be seeing Inkling Lucina. I feel like Inkling is going to be able to dash under and around a lot of Lucina's hitboxes and be able to find a lot of interesting ends. Yeah, Inkling with the ability just to be so low to the ground. It yeah. just allows Inkling to avoid so many attacks. Yeah, a lot of like just you know, with punishing, um, Lucina's yeah. going to be so big. Um, and then also being able to uniquely cover off stage uh, with down B3 Inkling is going to be so, so big yeah. um, as and well. I also think the, ra the fact that Inkling is now a rare character, it's also a help factor. When was the last time you saw him fight against Ooh. an Inkling or anybody? In it's, fact. it's been a while, yeah. Inkling maybe got power crept a little bit. Tries to go through the Booyah there, but is not going to be able to kill quite yet. Is that one going to be able to do it? No. no. They're already out of percent range for it. Yeah. But okay. Upsmash is going to take it right there. Yeah, just catching Mr. Lee, jumping in so aggressively. Not really sure about that down B there, especially considering that Mr. Lee had that Angel Plat in vulnerability. And this is where Mr. E shines, keeping people off stage, covering all of their options, and then just hitting them to the other side and continuing his ledge trap onslaught. Look at that stall. Look at that stall. Yeah, but still in a pretty bad situation. And Dare just taking it. It covers a lot of space because Skunkle has been consistently like double jumping, um, you know, aerial attacking back onto the stage. Uh, jumping and full hopping with downer, if you can get a read on the timing, will just cover so much for you. You can get a spike hit and follow up, or you can get the external hit and kill them off of it. So now, once again, uh, Skunkle needs to find the way off of the corner, off the ledge. But they are going to be able to do so for now. Yeah, get up attack, just pushing through. Ooh, oh. what a follow-up, what a follow-up. And Mr. Lee, now no double jump. <gasps> I love the idea, maybe trying yeah. to win box Mr. Lee. That was, that was kind of sick. Yeah, just pushed him off, and they just might not have been able to recover. But Mr. E still managed to get back, and this game is close. And as I say that, not close anymore. No, still living, but mm. massive amount of ink on them. I'm surprised we didn't see the F smash from Skunkle there and only... But you know what? Another up smash will do it. Yeah, at that point, Mr. Lee is just in such death percent. And now, therein lies the challenge once again, catching him on his dash back uh, as Lucina just tuck her foot out a little bit. So that was so big for Skunkle. All right, down tilt. Gonna take it. Who tries to get a follow-up after that first down tilt and that time. So a lot of people will try to throw out a projectile, keep themselves safe, right? As they're trying to get their way to get back onto the stage. But if the opponent is close enough, they can just run under you and hit you. Yeah, oh, jab not being able to dialogue just a bit late for Mystery. And it's now fighting their way back. And Mystery has to look out for these grabs and roller situations because that's what Skunkle has been looking for. Look okay. how well, like, Skunkle is also sharking Mr. Lee. He's just not finding a lot of safe landings because he's constantly getting in and under him. That get-up attack going to be saving Mr. E. Is that up here, up here going to be able to do it? No. no. Uh, oh, no. that up here not going to do it. But now out of percent from up throw up here. Uh, Skunkle maybe getting a little bit too aggressive with that first up smash. Tries to really look for these kills now. But yeah. Mr. E is just not having any... Oh, oh, no. No. Oh. Yeah, and you see Skunkle's really disappointed. Yeah. I'd be too. That was that was his game. So yeah. there's something I'd like to know. You said before, Mr. E's a great competitor, and one of his biggest things is his ability to not crack under pressure. Yeah. This is where a lot of his own experience with the game, because he's been playing this game for so long. This is where a lot of his own experience, his own mentality comes into play, because no matter how much Mr. E is down, he will he plays very st steady and solid. I feel like. Yeah. And and game started like thinking, oh my god, I'm about to win this game. I'm going to start going for a lot of up smash. I'm going to start going for goalie. And those big commitments, despite not actually having Mr. E in a tech chase, despite not actually being in clear advantage, throwing out those moves from disadvantage or even neutral, uh, you give Mr. E time to react and punish those because he keeps himself really calm and composed. So you got to make sure you're not fishing for your win cons unsafely uh, unless you're in a clear advantage to do so. Yeah, I, I agree so much with, with what you just said. Yeah, just the ability just not to crack under pressure. It's like, oh my God, I'm going to get this win. Yep. It, it just separates the top players from like the mid-level players. It stops high-level players from top players because people at some point will just crack and just start playing 
uh, really, really difficultly. But now we've seen Skunkle play really, really patiently, really safely, and they're such good implementation of Roller. They had the tech chase. They covered every single option from that position, right? And that's when they can get away with it and find the kill. So that was beautiful stuff. Yeah. And now you, you already see Mr. E starting to throw out a bit more upbeats, just trying to net something. <gasps> you know, oh no, the preemptive yeah. directional air dodge. Not even with how low the PS2 blast zones are, is Skunkel going to be able to double jump up E back on? So, a yeah. little bit unfortunate, but you know what? 20% lead is nothing to sneeze at. No, it's definitely not, Dar. Especially for somebody like Inkling, who's very, like, uh, percent-based follow-up. Yeah. Um, it, it could really make the difference in, in, in so, so much for you. <sighs> you know, like, out of the corner, Mr. Lee has punished every single one of those. Yeah, yeah no, he has that scouted out now. All right, get up attack. Oh, but, but, but that time around, Skunkle is going to be able to get away with it because Mr. E, thinking, hey, maybe they're not going to go for it again, uh, tried to dash up and was just stuck pressing a button. Yeah, down there now. Oh, that's going to be the Ligra, but Mr. E's so smart. Instead of going back onto the ledge and putting himself into the corner, he just gets back onto the stage before Skunkle and is just able to keep up this pressure and momentum. All right, down to... Forks the low recovery, tries to get the ledge trump, and Skunkle buffered the ledge option right then and there, so they were able to get back on nice and safe. What? What? What happened? Skunkle reverse up beat. They went to the right. Was it like just change the stick or just try Stuff to not happens. get try try not to get like um pineapple underneath? We don't know. But we do know Mr. E now has the lead and momentum. Oh, Mr. in such a good position just to be able to find an exit on Skunkle. But honestly, uh, they just need to find a way out of the corner. Mr. Lee now in a nasty position against Inkling. I love the coverage from Skunkle. Double tech chase does not cover the tech roll in, though. Yeah, it was looking for more tech outs just for game. Finds one neutral out back here and finishing that off with a multi jab. Just really, really good solid damage. Okay, you saw Skunkle cover the roll right there because Mr. E did roll the time before. And just wanted to cover that option. The choice to go for Roller there is really, really solid. Finding more up throw up is just for a good amount of damage. Mr. Lee forcing to land with no double jump. Is this going to be it? Is that up smash going to do it? Yes, it is. Beautifully played. Just good recognition from Skunkle. Hey, he's going to probably land with a button or an air dodge. That's all he has left yeah. when he has no double jump. Yeah, and if you look again, you see Mr. E try to throw out a fair in disadvantage. And it's just so late. So. Like, let, let, let this play, let this play. I want to show this. This this choice to double jump here is like okay. You wouldn't die to an upper quite yet, right? Yep. If you were to go onto the platform. But then, what 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 what's what's the going on here? You see you see the aerial. That's so aggressive. And for what? I would have just eaten a hit on the plat. Oh, yeah, you saw the back air. He thought he crossed yep. up. So, fortunately, Mr. E is now going to gain three and with the ability to get upset. Yeah. Again, Mr. Lee can beat anybody, but he's also such a solid and steady player, so he's going to be playing with the same exact composure that he was up until this point. It's going to be up to Skunkle to try to match that, and just to try not to, like, get that idea of, like, oh my god, I'm about to beat Mr. Lee, like, in, in the head. Yeah, and we see Dare into up tilt right now, just massive damage being done by Mr. Lee. Mm -hmm. Oh, beautiful tech that time around. Are they going to be able to make it back on? Yes, such good maneuvering with Uppy. Has the right idea, but a little bit too close to the edge. Uh, and as a result, does not find the full extent of that multi-jab. Another up throw up air. Interesting. I believe that should have been like an instant double jump to cover it in time. Yeah, I believe so too. A mystery with the Greek grab, but no punish from Skonko, actually. A uh, little bit unfortunate on their behalf. All right, just using fair to zone out. Get, Skunkle can't find a jump, and Mr. E is just, um, you know, like spacing a lot of his jumps so safely. So Skunkle never really has the opportunity to dash in uh, and find some sort of anti -air. Yeah, just getting walled out. Yep, look how solid he's playing. He's just playing patiently, just walling him out hit by hit, not trying to overextend when he doesn't need to, um, and just constantly punishing Skunkle's next options. Yeah, and seems like Mr. E got it downloaded. As you see that roll reef right there. He knew it was coming. He reacted to it, too. He was like, yep, you're going you're gonna to try to roll in. That time around, Mr. E was too preoccupied pressing whatever button they were. Skunkle not recognizing that Mr. E would get back onto the ledge on time. All right. 
Mm -hmm. I'll be I'll be out. And that was because Gunkel tried to punish Mr. E's fair and yes. just couldn't Mr. E does throw out these fairs that you think you can punish, but you really can't. Mm -hmm. Look how look how safely he's jumping too. He makes you think like, yeah, you want to get in, you want to try to throw about it at me. Absolutely not. Look, 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 look. He's just playing so solidly, so patiently. Yeah, back here, just turning out. That's tough. He's always like double jumping and fading back into the stage with uh with his back. So even if he whips it, he still gets back onto the stage and then can ledge to up you. He is just so so efficient uh, with a lot of his timing. And now Skunkel, not timing his back heels correctly, not safely enough. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's unfortunate. <sighs> that's that's Mr. Lee. He's he's honestly just so good adapting. He he plays solidly throughout the whole set. He's so good at adapting, and and he understood how to wall out Inkling. He understood the space that he wants to be playing at, and he got away with so many jumps. As soon as the Lucina is like able to confidently jump in on you, that means they have a lead on your movement. You don't maybe always have the tools to be able to call them out. All right, so that was a great set by Mystery. That was a close heartbreaker for Skunko. Yeah. Yeah, three stock the last game, but like this is like something you want to watch over. This is really good music to follow that up to. <laughs> this is an excellent choice. It's like it's like it's melancholic enough, you know. <laughs> 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 